in the domain of software development, Station.ai introduces Devika, an open source AI software engineer, redefining the software building process. Devika excels in interpreting complex human instructions, breaking them down into manageable tasks, conducting thorough research, and crafting code to meet specific goals. As a formidable open source rival to Devin by Cognition AI, Devika aims to democratize intelligent software development tools. Devika's key features include AI driven planning and reasoning, real time progress monitoring, contextual keyword extraction, organized project management, flexible architecture for new features and integration, multilingual code generation, effortless web browsing and research, and a conversational interface for natural language interaction. These capabilities empower Devika to navigate software engineering complexities seamlessly. User can monitor Devika's progress dynamically, ensuring transparency and adaptability in project management. Devika emerges as a comprehensive solution, revolutionizing software development through its advanced capabilities and user-centric design. So before moving on to how to install Devika, here is a quick info for you. If you want to switch careers with AI and ML, then try giving SimpliLearn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box and pinned comments. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is a GitHub page. So if you will go below. So these are the table of contents you can see about key features, system architecture of Devika, quick start, how to install. So getting started. So here you can see Devika is an advanced AI software engineer that can understand high level human instruction breakdown. Okay, so these are some demos pre-recorded by uh, the team of Devika, right? So as you can see here, so it's pre-recorded. See, if you have to give just prompt and it will create the particular uh, UI for you, okay? Or you can say game, whatever you want to build. See how? See, these are some pre-recorded demos by the Devika team, okay? or you can say station.ai. So these are some key features of Devika as we discussed already. And system architecture you can see, user interface, agent core. User interface is a web-based, okay, chat interface for interacting with Devika. You have to give some APIs. So later we will discuss about that. So these are some prerequisites of to install Devika. Okay, you have UV. Python package manager, then bun you have to JavaScript runtime bun you have to install, then Olama you have to install. Okay, if you like don't here it is written if you don't want to use the local models then you can skip this step. But if you want to install Devika locally you have to install this Olama. Okay, so like simple you can go here and you can download Olama. See, see Mac OS, Linux, Windows it's already there you can download it and install it. I have already installed in my system, right? So let's start with the installation. Okay, see here it's already written. Devika requires the following things as dependencies. First is Olama and second is Bun. Bun, Bun is the same process. You can go just now, you can choose your system Mac OS, Linux or Windows and then you can copy it and then you can pay it into your, paste it into your uh, PowerShell or command port, anything, right? So now let's start. So here, we first we have to clone the Devika repository, right? You can clone it from here, okay, download it from here, or you can just directly copy this, copy this code and paste it to your command prompt okay see I have already installed so it is saying fatal error destination path Devika already exists and it is not an empty directory got it so what I have to do I have to change Devika okay I, I will change the desktop Okay, now I will paste it. See, now it's cloning into Devika. Okay. So, so cloning is done. 
as you can see done no error is came so now cd devika okay cd devika okay now we are into devika folder okay so if you want to see i will show you devika as you can see so these are the repository we got after cloning devika okay so now what we have to do create a virtual environment and install the required dependencies then uv vnv we have to copy and paste it okay it's running yeah it's done activated and then uv pip install our requirement dot txt or we have to write okay let's copy first and paste it here see we are installing the r requirements uh, dependencies okay so i will share you this particular link github link in the description box below you can take it from there okay so now yeah it's done okay so what was that uh, yeah requirements if we will check requirements here where are the requirements architecture see requirements you can see see we got all the requirements okay so what what is the next oh okay this is already done so okay play right install a data with depths okay installs browser in playwright and their depths dependencies in if required okay i will copy it i will paste it so these are some simple steps you can use uh, while installing devika okay so we are done with this so now the major part set up necessary api keys and configuration so now let's see what are these first okay so you have to set some storage for the devika right some api keys so these will be your personal api keys okay so i have done it already i will show you so there is one file config.tuml so this is how uh, you have to set your api keys here i have set the open ai api key right you can use bing bing google any whatever you want okay as you can see you can use gemini api key mistral gru netlify cloud google search engine id google search bing you can use any but i used this open ai one okay why this is blur because i can share api keys you with you guys okay so this is how you can set your api key okay into your this config.tuml file right so after that there is one step called python devika.pi so what i will do i will write here so i i opened this devika folder into this vs code so i will write here python devika.py okay i will run it so it is initializing devika right so it will take time some time it will take so after that what you can do you can just simply cd ui then burn install then burn run dev right after that you can access the devika web interface by opening into browser this is the local they gave after running your api you can simply write in the web http 127.0.0.1 right this is the local ip they gave so after that it will the devika will run okay so this is all about devika so with this we have come to end of this video if you have any question regarding this topics please comment down below our team of expert will help you as soon as possible so thank you for watching stay safe and keep learning with simply learn Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.